fill in the blanks with less than or greater than. So here's our first example. We have negative 9, blank, negative 1. So which one is bigger? Well, if it's not clear right away, you can draw a number line. So here's negative 1, and negative 9 is smaller, so it's over here. So then it's smaller than negative 1, so the correct symbol in this case would be a less than. All right, so that would be the answer to that example. Let's do another one. What about um, 0, blank, negative 6? So which one is bigger, 0 or negative 6? In this case, let's just think about it, right? 0 is bigger than all the negative numbers, so 0 is greater than negative 6, right? It's bigger than negative 6. That takes care of that one. What about something like this? 0 0.15 blank 0 0.04. So which one is bigger? Well, what you can do now is you can compare the tenths place, right? Here the tenths place is 1. Here the tenths place is 0. So this one num number on the left is bigger. So it's bigger than the other one. So that's the answer there. And that's the answer there. And that's the answer there. All right, let's do another one. I'll start. I'll start stop drawing the blank because whenever I have a blank and I do this it kind of looks like a greater than or equal to sign so let's just omit the blanks from now on let's do the hard ones say we have one fourth and then here we have uh, what's one that might not be obvious two ninths so which one is bigger there is a trick right uh, what you can do is you can multiply four times two is eight nine times one is nine so which one is bigger well nine is bigger than eight so one fourth is bigger than two ninths. Boom! Super cool trick, right? Uh, really clever way to determine uh, which fraction is bigger. So you do four times two is eight, nine times one is nine. So nine is bigger than eight. So one fourth is bigger than two ninths. Right? Really, really nice stuff. Let's do uh, another one. Um, two sevenths, uh, four fifths. Again, um, if it's not clear which one is bigger, um, you just multiply. 5 times 2 is 10. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 is bigger than 4 fifths. That means that 2 sevenths is less than 4 fifths, right? Less than 4 fifths. Less than 4 fifths. Let's do another one. 5 thirds, 10 sevenths. Which one is bigger? So you do 7 times 5, that's 35. 3 times 10 is 30. 35 is bigger than 30, so 5 thirds is bigger than 10 sevenths. Right, so piece of cake. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there.